Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'm just opening the blinds and getting ready for this day, this glorious day. It's still cold, it's still cold. Last night we had the hugest thundering lightning storm ever. Oh my gosh. It's the problem when you have uh, windows behind a couch. You're telling me, I triplicated there. Yeah, did you guys see that? Sam triplicated. Is triplicated even a word? Oh. I'm sweating buckets. Um, whew. So last night when I was asleep and the girls were asleep, Sam must get bored because he made himself triplicate. He practiced some editing and turned himself into triplicate. It was a weird, awkward video. I don't even know the purpose of it. He posted it on Facebook, um, day by day vlogs on Facebook. But it was just him having fun learning how to edit with our new editing program. So cool. So. I can imagine that you guys are gonna be seeing some of that amazing new uh, editing that he can do in our future vlogs. Good morning, Sophie. What are the rules before you come downstairs every day? I have to brush my hair. Brush your hair, that's our big rule. Sophie had a bath last night, so her hair looks like that. If you guys are just tuning in now, this is Hendrix. This is our trainer's kitty. And I'm not a big cat person, but this cat is amazing. He is a hugger, a lover. He's just a really cute kitty. And he loves horses. So, of course, how can you not love that? But he smells. He smells like hay. He smells good. <laughs> Uh, some of you guys have been asking me to make a video on our horsey supplements, and I want to. I'm going to do it today. It's my goal to do that today, and the reason is I have a story to tell. I have a story to share with you guys about supplements and what we've learned um, and our rookie mistakes. So stay tuned for that video. Um, probably coming up, probably already up. If you know, if I know me, I like to get it done. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys all about our supplements. Yeah, in the morning, Willow does not eat a lot of grain. She doesn't eat a lot of grain. All we give her is vitamins. Nice to see you this morning, Gabby. All right, let's do this thing. She brought coffee. She brought coffee. Gabby's late to the punch because, you know, she needs coffee. What do you want for Father's Day? Miss Stella. Yeah, so Gabby drinks coffee now. Here, give this to Stella. Gabby drinks coffee now, and she's drinking it out of a coffee cup, out of a coffee mug. Why do you ask? Because her dad has her Christmas mug that her sister bought her for Christmas. That's right. With her bay horse on it. I have one, why don't you use mine? Yours. Welcome to the poop pit of our farm. This is where the horses really love to go to the bathroom, you guys. They love it, it's just their favorite place. It is easy to clean up though, so that, that's a positive. So we've been making some new fun plans for our farm, like just adjusting things as we go to make them work better for us. And what we've been doing is um, at nighttime, we've divided into teams. So like if I'm editing, Sam will come down with one girl one night to do nighttime chores. And then the next night, like Gabby and I did it last night, Sam and Sophie did it the day before. During the week, we all come. And then, and then we did it the day before. Yeah. Before. I mean, I love doing chores, but sometimes like I'm busy editing and stuff. And sometimes it's nice, especially when it's cold, to just like be able to go and have a bath and not have to wait until horse time bedtime for the horses so um, we've been doing that and it's so funny though because sometimes we have troubles there are hiccups you should always bring the camera like last night okay so all the hiccups usually happen with me right Gabby last night we ended up we let Finn in and he went into Stella's stall and then no 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 I told mom to work the door while I pushed the horses away then I said okay and then Willow tried to bowl into the barn I'm like, no, Willow. And then Mom left the door wide open. Stella came walking through. Yeah. And then Finn came running through. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that, that's what happened. Usually when we have a little then, hiccups, it's my then, fault. And then guess what she did next? Because <laughs> Willow 
bolting away from me. So she got the door wide open and <laughs> ran into the stall. Okay. So, well, basically, there, what happened, there, right. I haven't panicked that much, you guys. Like, I only panicked a little. Basically, Finn came in first, and I just left the door because I was focusing on him. And instead of going into his stall, he went running into to Stella's. I, I, oh, yeah. He went running in, went running towards Stella's stall. So, I had to leave the, the, the door because I had to save Stella's grain because Stella gets stuff in her grain. So, I ran to get Stella's we grain. the same and, grain. And before I knew it, Finn was in her stall beside me. So then, I'm trying to get Finn out, and I look out the door, and there's Stella waiting to get in. And I'm like, oh, this stall is really too small for all three of us. So Gabby's like, don't let her go in. So I shushed her away, like you think. If you shushed me away, I would go away. But no, she didn't do that. She waited until I turned around to get Finn out, and then she barged past me. So there I was being bounced between two chubby horses. Like, woo, woo, woo. I was like, help. That's how me and Dad do it. So we wait, more. wait. Did you have any hiccups when you and Dad do it? Only like once. Yeah, same with us. Finn got messed up and like it's always Finn's fault. Stall. But so we close every stall and then we choose a horse to come in first, like Stella. So we open that, let Stella go in first, and she goes into her stall. And then we close her door get the other horses do the same with their stall. Well, we did do that, and that's why they all went for Stella's stall, because Stella's stall was the only one open, but nobody was manning the gate because Gabby was chasing Willow around. <laughs> no, you were supposed to be on gate. I was supposed Willow. to be on gate. Rope halter with we need to get a, halter. we need to get if Willow a. Uh, like this, we need a pony one. Yeah, we need Small. a pony one. Good boy. So this is what our old... Now start taking it off very slowly. You have to wait, Finn. Good boy. He has to not move any of his feet, except for that, because I was just resting his foot and putting it back. Okay, just take the sucker off. I said slowly. I know, but I... I know, but it's hard. It's ground manners. Would you rather him run you over to get to the hay? Well, I'd rather him be, not feel sad that everybody else is eating and he's not. Good boy. It's not that sad, Mom. It's fine. Yeah, well, he seems mad. You see the way he ripped open that hay? Yeah, well, you're the boss saying, no, you can't eat until I'm ready Yes, I know. I know you're right, Gabby. It's that hard. Leads to when he spooks and gallops, or if the whole field gallops, yes. and you're right there and they're all charging at you, he will stop instead of run you over. Like, he yes. will run you over. I get right it. Now. I get it. Welcome and to- And he will go onto the trailer because I said I'm the boss of him, and he just loads onto the trailer. Yeah. And then he did it with Sophie. I know. And then I just took him and loaded him up. Let her see, though. Like, you can't just whip a poor little cat up there and- <laughs> No. You can. He loves paint. So, uh, history, this kitty has ridden horses before. Um, he has ridden Ziggy because he has a thing for pain. Yeah, he likes paint. And Dally Ziggy Dally. was trotting. You know how we let Stella and Willow out? Ziggy was trotting down to the end of the barn, and Hendrix was on his back. And Ziggy started running, and Fiona was like, oh, dear God, you better hop off, kitty. And the kitty did and lived, thank goodness. <laughs> Sophie is getting ready for a video for her channel. She's like getting really active on her channel and wanting to post a bunch of videos. So stay tuned for this video that she's getting ready to shoot. So show them. You guys, things are turning green. Things are getting green and brown. Yeah, last night was a huge thunderstorm and you missed it. it. Thunder and lightning like crazy. I was actually worried about the horses. Yeah. And, and I was trying to watch TV and I couldn't. Because he kept, kept replicating myself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Sam, Dad was watching TV 
And all of a sudden he looked over and there was another dad there. And then I was like clicking the remote trying to watch Game of Thrones. And every time he clicked the remote, another Sam, dad, appeared on the couch beside him. And I videoed it all. So you guys are going to get to see it. It's on Facebook, you guys, if you want to see it. Yeah, it was crazy. So, girls are doing a schoolwork. Schoolwork. Like actual schoolwork, not playing with slime. Or eating Cheerios. Lucky Charms. So now you know that that's what they do. They do that while they're doing schoolwork. Oh, warm coffee. No more yeah, coffee. No more coffee. Um, well, they work on schoolwork and what all the other stuff they're doing. Um, trust me, they do get it done though, you guys. They do. Because our school day doesn't end until... We tell them. Until they got it all done. <laughs> like at school, you can fool around and fool around and then the bell rings and you're done. But at home, your day doesn't end until it's done. But anyway, I want to show you guys something crazy. Da -da -da! HorseRookie.com again posted an article that I wrote, you guys. Um, day by Day Vlogs, Laura, on coming back from a fall, part two. So they asked me to do a second part, a two part series. You guys saw the very first article I wrote about my first fall. Look at this picture of me though, like when we went on our trail ride on that little Pasofino. And yeah, I look a little bit tall, but I love that horse. This article that I wrote to this time is about equestrian vlogger on what she learned from her first horse fall and how she got back in the saddle day by day. Isn't that so cool? So anyways, it's got a bunch of pictures of us and talks about the girls and everything um, about our channel. And yeah, the story of how I got back in the saddle and stuff that I haven't even really told you guys about it. About our trail ride and all that kind of stuff and how I managed to get back in the saddle and be fearless. But anyway, if you guys want to check it out, it's at horserookie.com. I'll put the link in the description box. I might even put the link across the screen here because I know some of you guys have a really hard time finding the description box when I tell you. In the description box, we always keep all of our information. So if you click on just below us, just below the title, there's a description box on each video we have our address in there if you guys want to send us wait i'll show you like what the heck am i doing here so on every single one of these videos we click on a video and then you watch it and then there's the title right here here's the title of our vlog sorry it's blurry i don't know why it does that um and then right below it it'll say show more and you click on that and it has all of our information our address all of our instagram accounts our store all that kind of stuff so i put all of like links and stuff for you guys to find the same kind of like if i show something in our vlog sometimes i post links so that you guys can find it too and um, our address and all that kind of stuff it's always there everything that i post is always listed there like we put the names to songs to our music there sometimes sam does that right yep. that moment that you arrive for lunch and nobody's in the doorway waiting for me Oh, what's happening over there? Did we just walk into a standoff? What's happening? Were you causing trouble? And they're like, oh, were you being good girl? forever to leave the house and this is why nobody prepared us for what really what horse ownership and farm life is like like I did not know that I was gonna have to wash my coat 15,000 times this winter because after three days with the horses you can't wear it anywhere because it stinks I never knew having horses were gonna be so stinky Look at how pretty these doors are. Hey, same thing as us. All right, you guys, guess where we are? What? Oh, he's nursing. Oh my gosh. He's cute. He's little still. Look at how cute. He's taller than Oh, you should you should let him eat. I'm like a mom at heart. Like, don't interrupt him eating. Hi. Hi, Hercules. He's like, oh God, the crazy people. 
Oh my gosh, he's so stunning. You guys remember when we first came to see? Mom. Yeah, uh oh. You run away from the mom. Whoa. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. Okay, she's fine. She sniffed us and she's like, that's fine. You guys are approved. So does he eat now? Yeah, he can eat now, eh? Yeah. You need to move back. Oldenburg Hanoverian. This is an Oldenburg Hanoverian. You guys are seeing. Yeah, you guys are seeing an amazing horse in the making. His dad is famous. Look how little his puny tail is. Oh, you're touching him. I want to touch him. Does he bite? Nope. He's still young. I know. Does he have teeth? Well, he can kick. I know that. Yeah. Let me try, Sophie. Yeah, my turn. Oh, Gabby's turn. Hi, buddy. Ah, oh, look, he wants me. Oh my gosh, he's gonna kiss her. Like, what the heck? Every horse kisses you Sophie. In your mouth. It's so weird. You know what his nose looks like? Like a sausage or something. Mm. Look at that cute eye. Aw, see? Look, he's gonna kiss. He wants to kiss you guys. Aww. Oh, he's gonna get pushy. He's like, ooh, you got horses. Wasn't he cute? What, is he grooming you? I'm gonna bite your hair and drag you across the, the stall. She's like, I want some attention too. Would she let us pet her? Aww. Aww. Pay attention to the mom. So she's at Oldenburg. Hanoverian. Hanoverian as well. You no, know, you are the cutest. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.